Okay, folks, uh, we're going to do a video on how to create a COVID questionnaire. So I'll go over how to create a questionnaire, but I'm also going to note that we have a template COVID questionnaire, which is called a pre-screen. And you can download that template and the link uh, that should appear with this video, whether you're watching on YouTube or somewhere else. Now, uh, in order to create a COVID questionnaire, what we'll do first is go to coach tools, then exercises, and then we have to create uh, our questions before we actually create the questionnaire. So if we go to managing lists at the top right, we're gonna drop all the way down to questions. And then as you can see here, I have a few questions built out, but the ones that we're going to use for COVID uh, in this instance will be whether you had close contact with someone, uh, do you have a cough, do you have a fever, do you have a sore throat, shortness of breath, um, recent loss of taste and smell, and then the very bottom one here is do you have a temperature higher than 100.3? So what I've done is, is for the first questions, all except for temperature, what I did was is I created the question. And when I did, I gave it a, an abbreviation. I put in the description, zero equals no, one equals yes. And then I've set a range minimum, uh, zero and one. That's all you have to do, zero or one. And then here's the key. For the thres thresholds, we're going to put 0.5 for upper and lower, because what will happen is, is that if they hit a low threshold, zero, that means good, negative. If they hit a high threshold, one, which is yes, then this will trigger that. And then lastly, we'll check this checkbox to invert the threshold. So by default, a higher score is um, better, uh, you know, or, um, or worse. Um, so what, what, when we invert it, what we're doing is we're looking for low values. We want zeros across the board. We want no across the board for all these symptoms. So what we're going to do is go ahead and, and check that on if it's not. And then for, we're going to do this for every question except for the last one, which is about temperature. Again, this is our, our pre-screen. So is, what is your temperature if higher than 100? So what we'll do here is we're going to call this temp. And then the range minimum is going to be 98. The range maximum will be 104. And what we're going to do is we're going to say anything below 99 is good. In fact, we could even change this to say anything below 100 is good. If anything is above 100, we can make that the high threshold. So we could say 100, or if you want to get really specific, you can say 99.5. And then I'll take this one, I'll say, um, I'll say 995 that means that anything that's above 99.5 gets flagged 100 anything that's below 99.5 is normal okay and then same thing we're going to invert this because lower thresholds are preferred in this case as well okay so now that i have this i went to my calendar and i went to an athlete joe covid and i went ahead and programmed this covid screen for today june 3rd and when joe covid fills this out what he will see is this will have the screen and he can go through and he can do one or zero. Zero equals no, one equals yes. So if he has a fever, yes. Does he have a cough? Yes. Let me go ahead and take fever off. I'll go ahead and put in sore throat, yes. Uh, I'll just kind of mix up the values. And let me say that he has a 99, you know, let's just put that. Um, okay, so zero for everything else. Joe COVID hit save. And then now if you want to view these results, what you do on a daily basis is you go to reporting. And in reporting, you go to the questionnaire report. And in this case, we'll run it for one athlete, Joe COVID. But of course, in your case, you might run it for a group or all athletes or a calendar. And then we'll choose COVID screen as our questionnaire and then select the date. And what will happen is, is for each athlete who answered the questionnaire, you're going to look for these red boxes. If they confirm a symptom, it will show up red. So 011000. Okay. Cough, yes. Sore throat, yes. But nothing else. Temperature 99, that's below 100, so it shows up green, that's okay. Now, by default, we total all the values in a questionnaire. So the total here will show up as 101 because temperature is factored into that total. Um, it's not scaling. So what you can do is you can eliminate temp temperature and use just the six part questionnaire and then you can have a total and basically say what I'm looking for in the total is anything that's two or higher. If they're having two symptoms or more, that's something to look out for or one or whatever. So this can be printed out, this can be shared out, um, but this is how you get the color codes for a COVID type uh, screening questionnaire, which you can build in Team Builder using ones and zeros. And uh, like I said, download our template. You can edit our template. If you wanna take ours to start with and then modify it, you're welcome to do that.